They're two of the most entertaining sides at the moment, uh, Tottenham and Brighton, especially Tottenham. They've been playing some decent football and uh, they've been um, back into the top four with a win while three points for Brighton is desperately needed to keep pace with the sides above them in the race for Europe. But Brighton boss, he's come out and said he's a big fan of Ange Postacoglu. I like him so much in um, as a coach, as a style of play, as a person. When I... When he speaks in uh, in press conference or the interview, I I like him a lot. Yeah. I mean, look, Deserve has obviously done really well since he's gone in at Brighton, but you know, Andrew's um, took the league by storm, actually, hasn't he? And some of his football can be a little bit naive in terms of how they continue to press and try and you know play through sides when they're winning games, and he don't want to sit off at all. But he has been good, hasn't he? Oh, definitely. I mean. And and I've said this to you. I'm still baffled at what Conte was trying to do. I'm still baffled. To this, it makes it even more baffling when you see Ange has just gone right. Let's just get after the opposition. Basically, yeah. we got Kulicheski, Son, Richarlison. Before it was Harry Kane last year. Yeah, I know. So if you've got them three players in your team, surely that's the best part of your team. Like get them the ball, get up the pitch, and we'll outscore the opposition. But Conte had. Everyone behind the ball at home against Palace and teams like that. Yeah, he, put, he had Harry Kane twenty five yards in his own half. Everyone behind the ball, handbrakes fully on. Yeah, and we'll break out now and again yeah. and try and nick games. Yeah, well, the fans who are going now are really enjoying it. Yeah, I think we're the most. I think we're the most exciting team in the league to watch right now. You know the football because obviously we're going to make mistakes as well, right? We're going to win games four three. We're going to lose games four three. You know, and and I think that's what's exciting to watch. And people actually say it now. Actually, Spurs are a great club to watch, and I think that's what the fans wanted. You have got this brilliant stadium, and look, we know we're not Man United. You know, we we know we're not Liverpool. Uh, you know, we know we're not going to go. And, you know, win the league like Manchester City. But what look, the fans want is we're a big club. We've got some good players. And people are paying a lot of money to go and watch Spurs play and they want to be entertained. And I think that's what Andrew's brought in. He's brought into the idea of the Spurs style of football and the way they want to play. And, you know, I think with him, if, if you back him, Daniel Levy's got to back him. Romero's picked up an injury. He's out for four or five weeks. You have to back this manager in January and bring in some reinforcements because when you lose Van de Ven, Romero, Madison, all of a sudden now you're looking at going... Sanchez, is he still there? Eric no, Dyer, no. Sanchez gone. No. Eric Dyer, Eric, Eric Dyer, Hoiberg, Ben Davis. Yeah, no, Ben Davis is all right. I, don't I mean, if the centre halves get injured, yeah, but that's so what you're stuck with. Yeah. But Eric Dyer's been told he can leave. Hoiberg's been told he can leave. So there are players now that you, 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 Lloris has been told he can go. So I think you're going to see players leaving the door. You need to get the wait. You need to get them off the wage bill because they're obviously earning a few quid because they've been there for a long time. Um, so you got 150 million on your Ange, right? Coming mm-hmm. up January yeah. the first. What are you going to spend it on? I'm going to sign. I'm going to sign another centre midfield player, top one that can do everything. Seventy million. Yeah, I'm going to sign a centre half, yeah. another a top centre half. I'm going to sign an, a, and a, a a striker, a winger. That's what I'd sign. What someone who's going to get you twenty goals though? Well, look, Richarlison looks like he can do it, but I think he he, he don't do it enough. But Son has proven that he can play as a number nine. So you got to find what's out there. It's hard, isn't it? I mean. Finding a striker who's going to get you them goals is not easy. You got Brennan Johnson, obviously as well. Brennan Johnson, I like, but he's he's a bit of a he's a bit weak in front of goal, you know. So he, that's the problem with him. I like him what he does. He's got pace and he gives you problems. He causes problems for other teams. But he's a bit weak in front of goal. I think he'll get better. But I think if you can have someone that can really come off the bench, say Son's not doing it, or Richarlison's not doing it, or Kulisevsky's not doing it, you've got someone that you can go to off the bench. And he can come on them and, and and really produce. That's what we need. We need someone fighting for that number one. Well, spot and, and you need front. Madison fit because he oh, made, he's like class. What a signing he's been. Class. He Gutted was, that he's got injured like he did because he's been so good for us. That's if I was Harry Kane, I would have been looking around going, "Hang on a minute, I've just been here for two years, playing in my own half, and well, now he's signed Madison, who's going to put yeah. me in every five minutes, and he's had to leave." Have you seen the players that Harry Kane's playing with at Bayern Munich? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, he's yeah. what he's he's going to he's breaking all the records out there the players he's got around him so I don't think he's really caring too much about Tottenham right now that's for sure Uh, but he is missed you wouldn't mind him up front in this team that'd be good